What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today doing another Madden NFL 19 rebuild today featuring the Dallas Cowboys. Now the Cowboys have a pretty talented roster. The only thing is they've been underperforming in the past uh, past couple years or so, the past two, as the Eagles have kind of uh, taken over the NFC East last year, especially winning the Super Bowl. But they do have a number of really talented players. You look across the offensive line, arguably the best offensive line in football. Tyron Smith, arguably the best left tackle in football. You have Travis Frederick, arguably the best center. Zach Martin, arguably the best right guard. When you have three players who are arguably the best at their position just across the offensive line, you're going to have a pretty solid team overall. And um, they backed it up. Sean Lee's a super high rated player, although he is getting a little bit older. We might look to move him purely because he's going to regress. So we might look to get a new fresh face in there for the sake of the video. And guys, if we could hit 2,000 likes, that'd be awesome. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new. And let's go ahead and break down this roster. All right. So obviously, we've got a very good offensive line. We talked about that. Let L. Collins, really solid offensive lineman in college, been. Kind of a journeyman around uh, the Dallas Cowboys offensive line over the course of his career. He's filled in at left tackle. He's played left guard, right tackle. He's played everything but center as far as I know. And, of course, they keep another Texas guy, Connor Williams. Cook them horns for that. Uh, in the top of the second round, they got Jeff Swaim as their starting tight end. If you guys watch my Giants franchise series, you know Jeff Swaim might be the best tight end in the league. But they also have Cole Beasley. A little bit older now, what, 29 or so? 29 years old out of SMU, another Texas guy. And um, Alan Hearns brought him over from Jacksonville. They got Terrence Williams, who's a little bit weird. But as far as the receiving core goes, they're not in a bad spot. They drafted Michael Gallup, who I think is actually a super talented receiver, and they got fantastic value on him. They take Tavon Austin, who is basically a running back. They have Rod Smith, Bo Scarborough. Uh, Darius Jackson, Ezekiel Elliott obviously is a beast. Dak Prescott at quarterback, probably their franchise guy, and then Jameez Olawale. There's actually, hold on, there's another receiver. They took one out of Boise State. What is your name? Cedric Wilson, here he is, yeah. I just forgot. What a pair of glasses. Might look to get him some action. Definitely want him playing over Tavon Austin. So what I'm going to do with Tavon Austin is relegate him to the running back position where I think that's what he's playing anyway because the Lord knows he can't catch the football anywhere except for out of the backfield and that makes him an 84 overall pretty decent backup running back or we could look to trade him I am going to look to trade Terrence Williams for sure probably Cole Beasley and then we'll rock out with Michael Gallup and Cedric Wilson really don't care for Deontay Thompson much the rest of the offense is pretty good and then defensively uh, they're in a little bit worse of a position then the offense, because the offense is solid. But Jalen Smith is a great piece to build around. You take Leighton Van Der Esch in the first round. Sean Lee, probably got to go. Probably got to go. They have Joe Thomas. Oh, wow. I, I, I couldn't figure out who this was. But he was uh, with the Packers last year. It was actually okay. They have Justin March Lillard. Uh, Jeff Heath is their starting strong safety. They also have uh, Kevon Frazier. And Jameel Showers, the ex-quarterback. What are your stats looking like, Jameel? Can you throw the ball at all? We might make you a backup quarterback. <laughs> he actually, I'm not even kidding. He was a quarterback. What are your ratings like for throwing the ball? They got to be at least okay. Oh my, he, that's our backup quarterback. Jameel Showers, you play quarterback again because Lord knows you're not a safety. Jameel Showers, backup quarterback extraordinaire. What does your overall go up to? Hopefully, hopefully at least low 60s. Hmm maybe not whatever we're gonna get to that at the time he's not gonna play anyway Leighton Van Der Esch is gonna start at one of these outside linebacker spots I'm telling you Sean Lee's getting traded I know he's great piece for this Cowboys team but he's 32 and he's gonna regress so much maybe should get a different haircut I'm not sure what that's about uh and then they have Xavier Woods at free safety 89 speed 86 hit power uh 77 zone he's not terrible and he is only 23. He might be the look at free safety. They have uh, Marquiston Huff, Marqueston, however you want to say that. And then uh, Chidobe Awuzi, Byron Jones, they have Anthony Brown, and then Jordan Lewis. It's not a terrible cornerback group, to be fair. 
Defensive line isn't terrible either. Tyrone Crawford, David Irving, Malik Collins, and Demarcus Lawrence. Also have Coney Ely, Randy Gregory's kind of a bust at this point. Uh, Detone Jones, Taco Charlton, forgot about him, Charles Taffer. It's an okay team. It is, for sure. It's a, it's a solid team in terms of overall. Offense is sick. Just got to make that defense a bit better. Chaz Green, yikes. What is your pass blocking, like three? Eh, 68. Oh, wow. Uh, didn't expect that to go through. I was just testing it before I went for Earl Thomas and brought him back to Texas. But it's going to be Sean Lee, Byron Jones, and Taco Charlton for Bobby Wagner. So we basically replaced Sean Lee with a better, younger, beast linebacker. Of course, we are trading Byron Jones, who honestly, not in my future plans at all. Then we're trading Taco Charlton as well, who again, not in my future plans at all. He has no space on the defensive line. I'm also going to try and trade Randy Gregory and Charles Tapper if I can. Also, Coney Ely. But I don't need Taco at all. And then at cornerback, I mean, we're fine. Shadobi Awuzie, Jordan Lewis. We also have Anthony Brown. That's a fine trio. Fine trio. Xavier Woods, we want to get better free safety. I could have moved Byron Jones to free safety. And a strong safety. I mean, Jeff Heath is just not going to be the guy. But we have Bobby Wagner now. So Jalen Smith can move to the outside. Leighton Vander Esch could move to the outside. Joe Thomas will probably get traded um, if we want to do that. But wow, a pretty big trade to start things off here. I'm okay with the team getting a little bit worse to compete at a higher level next season. With this trade, giving up quite a bit of value, but I think we're getting a lot of it back. Randy Gregory, we're done with him. Terrence Williams, we're done with him. Uh, as a Giants fan, I've watched a lot of the Cowboys over the last... I don't know, six or seven months I've been a fan of the sport. And Terrence Williams is a disaster. Randy Gregor, he can't stay off the weed. And I know I didn't say his last name. I had a bit of a stroke. That's fine. Strokes happen. He's part of life. First round pick as well. We're getting Michael Pierce. He's going to be playing defensive tackle for us, obviously, in a 4-3. And then at defensive tackle, we no longer need Malik Collins. So Malik Collins can be traded. And I understand that I'm speaking English at a very below average level today, but uh, the trades are on point. Let's see if we can get a first round pick or something back from Malik Collins and maybe somebody else from the Bengals. Malik Collins and I believe Cameron Fleming, the backup right tackle, will be headed over to Cincinnati as we pick up their first round pick. I'm sure a much more valuable pick than the first rounder that we would have had otherwise. And we've gotten a little bit younger here. I'm still looking to trade Cole Beasley. I know he's like the lifeblood of the team or whatever, but like... Mm -mm -mm. Not my team. It's my team now. And uh, he has no spot on it. Jeff Heath, I can trade as well. He's like a cult hero, but I'd be okay with ditching him. Cole Beasley, Deontay Thompson in a sixth round draft pick. Gets me a first rounder from the Indianapolis Colts. I'm pretty sure I'm done making trades. If you look through each, you know, different position, we're pretty, we're pretty young. I was going to say youthful, and I'm like, that makes me sound super old. I could trade Tavon Austin. Now, he might be the last guy that we trade. And uh, I think that's probably going to be the best. As you can see, no one on this team is really over uh, 28 years old. And that's that's right where we want to be. Super young, super talented. And uh, let's just move Tavon Austin wherever he wants to go. So he has only yellow interest from the Redskins across the entire NFL. Not really going to work for me. So we're just going to hold on to him. He's going to be the backup running back. This will be the team for season number one. I'm not expecting overwhelming success, but in the draft, I'm looking to upgrade tight end, maybe wide receiver, depending on how Cedric Wilson and Michael Gallup play. The offense otherwise is fine outside of tight end. And then on defense, I need these cornerbacks to progress. I need the safeties to come along. And um, Jalen Smith and Leighton Vander Esch will play both outside linebacker positions. So I'm gonna change that. But otherwise I will simulate and I will see you guys at the midseason mark. I'm also going to do a little test this episode. I know I've changed XP sliders. I feel like I've had them in a really good spot over the past three years, probably, of doing some of these videos. But I'm going to try not changing the sliders at all, the XP sliders, I should say, for this video. And hopefully it plays a little bit differently and the records come along differently. We're going to see. It's going to be a fun test. And, uh, yeah, Leighton Vander actually played left outside linebacker now. We got Jalen Smith at right outside linebacker. We're in a really, really good position. 
But yep, that being said, everything's in a fantastic spot. I will see you guys at the mid-season mark. So unfortunately, only two and five at the mid-season mark. We are uh, pretty much bottom of the NFC East here. Good to see my Giants are killing it per usual. And I also do not have any upgrading on, so I will do a little bit of upgrading because we could make the playoffs. It's not, I don't think, I don't think it's ridiculous to say that even though we're two and five, that we can come back and do something here. Uh, of course, Demarcus Lawrence is our top priority free agent. Who else is here? Who else is going to be going to be a free agent? So Michael Pierce, David Irving, Coney Ely. I didn't trade, I guess. Probably should trade him. Is it past the trade deadline? It might be. It might be too late. It is. Yikes. Let's, let's bring Demarcus Lawrence back at least. All right. So I re-signed Michael Pierce. Demarcus Lawrence wants a better salary, which kind of sucks. But I should be able to bring back David Irving. He's 25. Uh, I'll probably sign him to a five-year deal worth 3.5 with a $2 million signing bonus, just under four per year, and David Irving is back. Demarcus Lawrence we'll deal with later in the offseason, but other than that, we are we are fine. Oh, and Tavon Austin's a free agent. Oh, goodness. So I offered Tavon Austin a ridiculous contract just so I could trade him. It was just going to be one year sign and trade sort of thing. And I offered him 7.5 per year. And he's like, I don't like anything about this offer. You don't like 7.5 a year when the best you're going to make on the open market is like 1.8. Unreal. Okay, I got to upgrade maybe. Needless to say, we did not make the playoffs. As we would finish 5-11, and 11, bottom of the NFC East. And yeah, I mean, you, you, know, you hate to see it. Dak Prescott really, I guess, did not perform too well. Cedric Wilson with a couple of uh, skill points there. But let's see how the team performed. Individually, we'll be able to assess maybe where the weak spots are. And good Lord, Dak Prescott. Only 3,500 yards, 19 touchdowns to 12 interceptions. Ezekiel Elliott had a phenomenal season. 1,500 yards, 14 touchdowns. Did not cough the ball up once. Wish I could say the same for Tavon Austin, who fumbled five times. Jeff Swaim. This really is Gronk, dude. 80 catches, 827 yards, and 5 TDs. Alan Hearns led our team in receiving yards, 875, and touchdowns with 6. The rest of the team, kind of weird because Dak Prescott was terrible. A lot of sacks allowed. Well, I mean, not much for Sim in general. Bobby Wagner leads the team in tackles with 155. Tackles for loss would be 17 from Demarcus Lawrence, 11 from Michael Pierce. Sacks, 11.5 for Demarcus Lawrence, 7 for Michael Pierce, 6 for Tyrone Crawford. Interceptions, 3 for B-Wags, 2 for Jordan Lewis, and 2 for Chidobe Awuzi. Wow. Three players on the entire team got interceptions. Bobby Wagner also forced 7 fumbles because he's ridiculous. We only recovered 3 in total. What is our defense, dude? No defensive touchdowns. We were 12th in total offensive yards. That's okay. How is our defense? 24th. Ugh. That's why we're not winning games. Our defense can't do anything. Le'Veon Bell wins MVP. No Cowboys in there. NFC Offensive Player of the Year is Drew Brees. Ezekiel Elliott at number three. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Manti Teo. Bobby Wagner in there at number four. Offensive Rookie of the Year is Saquon Barkley. And then Michael Gallup in there at number seven for the Cowboys. Defensive Rookie of the Year, we got Leighton Vander Esch at number two. Oh, that would have been so big to win. Unfortunately, he does not. We need to improve this defense. Because it's really, really bad when we are when we can't stop anybody. Really, really bad. We have a couple of skill points to use. I, I really mean only a couple. <laughs> like, nobody has more than one. We're in a bad spot. We need this offseason to be a big one. Oh, yeah, Demarcus Lawrence. I forgot about this fella. Seven years. I would have to increase the salary. I could do that. I could do I could do 7.5. Paying him about 6.5 per year. This isn't even a bad deal. 77 million in total is a lot, though. Demarcus Lawrence resigns. That is huge. I also would like to resign. Not Tavon Austin. He's not. I should have traded him before and just taken whatever value I could get. Coney Ealy. What do I want to do with you? 27. This could be a sign and trade kind of thing. I would pay him five years, and the max I would give him is three per year with a signing bonus of 1.5. So about three million in cap hit. 
and he actually is going to re-sign. I most likely will trade him. Otherwise, it's just a good depth signing because we are paying him a lot to be a backup. His, I mean, three mil is a pretty decent bit. He is an 80 overall, though, so he's going to have some good value in that department. We have 52 million dollars to spend here in free agency we don't have to landon collins is a free agent cj mosley also a free agent trevor williams jonathan hankins brent grimes okay so it goes without saying landon collins is the priority of this free agency he absolutely is 92 overall free or should be strong safety he's very very talented only 25 years old he is a must sign for this team also we would be stealing him from a rival NFC East team. 6.9 is nicer. 6.9 per year, 6.9 cap hit. Nice. Oh, can I do 69 there? No. 68. It's 110 total points. It's a few points in the land Collins. The salary is pretty good, though. We need to sign him. That is the biggest thing for our success. And he rejects God Landon. Why? Where are you going? Let's find out. He goes to the Redskins. 106 points. Gets the job done. Oh my god, Landon. You're killing me. So, I really, really could have done with getting Landon Collins. However, the secondary draft and, the, you know, corners, safeties are really, really bad. The selection's not ideal. But we do have... Ray John Ashley here. A deep threat out of Nebraska. He's only 5'9, but he has A plus medium route running. B deep, B release. He ran a 43640, great three cone and 20 yard shuttle. He's going to be the perfect slot receiver. But is that the path I want to go down? We also picked 13th overall. The answer is yes. It might A plus might be 99. We gotta take the shot. Rajan Ashley, ranked number two. We drafted him at number three, so definitely not a reach. He has star development. 82 overall deep threat receiver. Show me a 99. 99 medium route running. Right out of the draft. Unbelievable. 93 speed, 89 catching. 81 spectacular catch, 83 release. He is an absolute monster. Of course, the number two overall player in the entire draft. And of course, not a reach. We took him at number three. Not a bad first pick. Okay, so we are going to be trading our first round pick, Jeff Heath, and a second next year for Hashan Clinton Dix. I guess, haha, -ha, Clinton Dix from the Green Bay Packers. Jeff Heath, is, uh, well, excuse me? Wow, that didn't go through, huh? Okay. I'll add a first next year. And now we have HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix. So we solve our, our safety issue because we can now play him at strong safety. And I didn't really need that pick anyway. Didn't really have anyone in the range that I was super interested in. We are going to simulate now to the second round. And hopefully the receiver I want is still on the board. If he's not, I'm going to be a little bit upset. And he was taken. But there's a left guard here with a little bit of value. Frank Fitzpatrick out of Arizona. This would give me a little bit more leeway on the offensive line to do what I want, i.e. trading Connor Williams, maybe Lael Collins. Frank Pitts, uh, Fitzpatrick out of Arizona, 77 overall, star development. Excellent pick here. He's a beast, 88 strength, 84 run block, 79 pass block. Really, really good player, 80 impact blocking as well. Star development is huge. So we could now definitely move Connor Williams, who's, you know, probably a better tackle than he is a guard. I'm actually taking a tight end here. Blake Moreno out of Oklahoma State. Now, he's very slow. So slow. 499 speed. Ridiculously slow for a tight end. Or anybody, really, unless you play the offensive or defensive line. He's really strong. He's got a great vertical. Great broad surprisingly good three cone and 20 yard shuttle for his size which is 6'7 246 he's got great top three skills i'm gonna take him he's gonna be a 78 overall with normal development he's ranked number 21 in the class pretty good third round pick if i do say so myself and his speed really isn't that bad at 74 80 catching 80 short route running 86 catching traffic 
he's okay for sure 78 overall he's gonna be our new starting tight end and uh that's really what i can take solace in so i'm between these two receivers for my fourth round pick it's kind of a weird spot we got bradley young we have chase schaefer out of fau and san diego state respectively reverse that order chase schaefer is 6-2 he's got really good really good skills but he's a fourth 6-4 speed guy not terrible but not amazing he'd be an interesting player bradley young 5-10 a little bit smaller we do have some smaller receivers on the team right now um in well at least the player that we just drafted 4-3-9 speed for him he's 5-10 he's also got pretty good skills but i think other than speed he's just probably worse i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with chase schaefer here out of fau speed isn't good but the rest i think is better overall he's a 77 overall ranked number 37 pretty good fourth round pick 86 speed 91 short 87 medium 63 deep is bad decent spectacular catch good catching good catching traffic he's a good player for sure and i really doubt that next player is going to be available in the fifth round not a bad fifth round pick kj fisher ranked number 39 in the class we took him of course in the fifth round really really well rounded great short medium route running great catching great catching traffic just the 85 speed lets him down a bit but we're really deep at wide receiver now all right so really good draft class for us starting out with rajan ashley out of nebraska then following up with all 77 or 78 overall players frank patrick blake moreno chase schaefer kj fisher i know i i don't know why i can't speak i feel like when i wear headphones it's like it kind of drowns out what i'm saying so when i could easily say frank fitzpatrick and then when I got the headphones on, I'm like, Fred, Fred, Fred. it's like, I don't know, man. Do I do this? This is weird. Doesn't feel right. But um, either way, really solid draft class for us. I know I'm droning on about my inability to speak English, which is uh, probably a problem. Offensive line's looking really solid. Wide receiver is going to be a really interesting position for us. Cedric Wilson and Michael Gallup, I mean, they're basically done on the team now. There's no real need for them. And then we have Rajon Ashley and Chase Schaefer. I think that's a good uh, two and three. And we're going to make sure Ashley is our slot receiver. Hopefully does that automatically. Although it, where is slot? Makes it Fisher. I want it to be Rajon Ashley. There we go. Rajon Ashley is number one. This is the new look team with HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix out there. We didn't really do much to upgrade the defense because there wasn't much that we could do really just didn't have the options in the draft and free agency wasn't anything special didn't want to bring in trevor williams this time around 93 overall offense 87 overall defense we're in a pretty good spot just got to finish this battle between the left guards here and figure out which left guard is going to start it's got to be fitzpatrick connor williams is going to get traded but traded for what do we package anthony brown a left guard connor williams and a first round pick or something like or a second for a really solid starting free safety or cornerback i definitely like that idea all right connor williams is second and david irving is going to secure coney not coney i was thinking about coney Ealy being traded it's going to secure keanu neal from the atlanta falcons he's actually going to play strong safety we're going to move haha -Ha clinton dicks back over to free safety i think i made that change right and then i could trade xavier woods in fact that might be the best thing we can do Haha Clinton Dix is going to, you know, slide back to free safety very easily as he never ended up playing even one snap over at strong safety for this Dallas Cowboy team. And we do need a new defensive tackle. And I could move somebody over. We got your hard word here. I'd rather I'd rather trade Coney Ealy and get a new defensive tackle. You could trade Charles Tapper too. All right, wow, weird. Coney Ealy just straight up for Bradley Roby works. They don't, the Broncos just don't care for Bradley Roby. Doesn't make a ton of sense to me. He's a pretty good player. But he's a pretty good player on our team now. He's going to become our new best corner. Anthony Brown has no value. I forgot what I even needed. It was a defensive tackle. I got a, I got a little bit caught up there. Xavier Woods and I believe KJ Fisher, who we drafted this year, gets us Geno Atkins. He is 31, so he had less trade value. But for this team, he has all the value in the world. 
He's going to come in, be an excellent piece right next to Michael Pierce. We've got a really solid defensive line. Now it's only about upgrading Jalen Smith and Leighton Vander Esch through, you know, actually play time. And Tyrone Crawford, I'd like a better defensive end. And Doris Armstrong Jr., if you guys remember the Browns rebuild, he was a beast last year. Uh, and we could play him at right end and start him. I know he's only a 70 overall. I feel like he's going to be a beast though, man. I don't think the Tyrone Crawford fits what we're doing. We run a 4-3, and he's like, he's a defensive tackle more than anything. He doesn't really fit as a prototypical 4-3 DN for me. We could trade him. We could, we could improve. All right, big trade. Tyrone Crawford, a three and a future one, gets us Von Miller. This team got really, really good really quickly. Just from trading for a... Uh, wily old veterans at this point of course von miller will not be playing outside linebacker for us he will be playing right end and wow this team got really really good really quickly all right this is going to be the team for season number two i expect big things here it's a very solid team much better than what we had in year one receivers have gotten better and most notably the defense has gotten very very good Let's hope they ball out. I will see you guys at the mid-season mark. All right, so we are three and five at the mid-season mark because that's how uh, it works when you get a really good team. You go, you go negative, and you are bottom of the NFC East. B Wags is the top free agent that we have impending. Who else is here? Keanu Neal, Ezekiel Elliott, Alan Hearns, Dak. Oh, Dak. Jalen Smith. I don't even know what to do at this point. So we re-signed pretty much everyone we needed to, except for Dak and Jalen Smith. I don't I don't know if Dak's the answer here. We're going to upgrade Ezekiel Elliott just a little bit. But I do have to say, I, f I think Dak is holding us back. That's a fun little rhyme to remember why this team sucks. All right, playoff time. Please. And we do not make the playoffs. Nine and seven. And of course, even with the XP sliders turned uh, just to 100 the way they normally would be, everyone still finishes with roughly the same record. Nine, six, and one. Nine, six, and one. Nine and seven, nine and seven. Every time. Madden Sim is so screwy. It really is. All right, so even though we have a 91 overall offense, 95 defense, our team looks really, really solid. We just can't seem to make the playoffs because you can't in simulation. And that's, I mean, that's what the series is. It's its not about the gameplay. It's about building the team. And it's not, it's not going so well in sim, I have to say. Do I bring back Dak? I definitely bring back Jalen Smith. Dak is just, like, we can't do anything with him. It's going to cost, like, 15 a year to bring back Dak. Maybe I could, if I offer him a, a larger contract extension wise it's going to cost us less and then maybe we can consider bringing in some type of competition but Dak is uh gonna resign with the dallas cowboys who's a free agent quarterback nobody ah oh, no <laughs> nobody really um i feel like at this point the team's pretty good we don't really have a lot of holes at all we really don't so looking around there's not really much we can go after i think wide receiver is a position where we're really strong we could bring in tyree kill but i don't really want to do that we need we need a good draft all right dixon council maybe he's going to be our starting right tackle uh he's okay of course rank number 78 we take him in the fourth round uh he's not bad actually 82 run block 80 pass block 82 impact blocking just pass block plow, uh, power is pretty low. Mm, he's all right. Carlos Torres, also later we drafted. Uh, he's all right. 79 speed, 81 power move. We don't really need any position. So the draft was kind of weird for us because uh, I simulated it. Because I just don't care. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be on Madden to let us win games because the team's good enough. Our left tackle spot is solid. Our center spot, obviously solid. Right guard, solid. Only weak spots on the offensive line. Left guard and right tackle. And they're not even that bad. Tight end is fine. 
Receiver's in a pretty good spot. I need Dak to, to really do something here. Defense is great. All right, this is the team for season number three. Geno Atkins is no longer that good. That's a sad pill to swallow, or that doesn't even make sense. It's a tough pill to swallow for sure, and it's a sad reality. But Rajon actually looks really, really good. I just need Dak Prescott to do something here. Can we please win games? Let's go right to the playoffs. One can only hope at this point. And uh, hoping isn't good enough. We finish 8-8. Eight and eight. I'll tell you what I want to do is compare this roster that we have 93 offense, 95 defense to the 13-3 Giants. That's what I want to do. So the Giants have four players over 90 overall. Inside the 80 to 89 range, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine players, 80 to 89, and then 90 to 99, they have four. The Cowboys, on the other hand, have four players from 96 to 99. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven players that are 90 overall or above. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players in that 80 or 10 in the uh, the 80 to 89. So the team obviously is leaps and bounds better than this Giants team. It's not even close. It's it's otherworldly how much better this Cowboys team is than this Giants team. Yet the Giants go 13-3. And, and this Cowboys team goes 8-8. Eight and eight. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's just extremely frustrating when we I build a really good team and we can't win. Alright, so the only player we couldn't bring back was Dan Bailey. But guess what? He's getting franchise tag. Brought back Jordan Lewis and Shinobi Awuzie. Or Awuzie. And, um... I don't know. What do we do now? Deshaun Watson's a free agent. And he's a 94 overall. I, I need to. All right. Deshaun Watson has accepted. He's the new quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys, stealing him from another Texas team in the Houston Texans. Dak Prescott is uh, is not quite what Deshaun Watson is in the game right now. It's a 96 comparatively uh, to Dak Prescott's 83 overall. And that might matter for quite a bit. We could still upgrade at wide receiver, tight end. Rajon Ashley is a 92 overall. That star development is doing wonders. He's obviously a beast. And uh, maybe he had a good season. Let's let's check out how that went. So, of course, don't mind Deshaun Watson's numbers. We had to look at Dak, and he was uh, not as good as, da as Deshaun Watson was. Just not even close. Rushing, Ezekiel Elliott has been awesome for us. Receiving, Rajon Ashley had a sick rookie season, 1,200 yards, six touchdowns. That's got to be Offensive Rookie of the Year. Blocking, offensive line was pretty solid overall. Defensively, B-Wags, 128 tackles with the team. Tackles for loss, 13 from Von Miller. QB sacks, 10 from Demarcus Lawrence and Von Miller, both bookends there. Interceptions, four for Bradley Roby and Keanu Neal led the team. And then uh, force fumbles, let's see. Seven from Bobby Wagner again. This time we have a ton of fumble recoveries to go with a ton of forced fumbles. And any defensive touchdowns. One for Jordan Lewis and one for Bradley Roby. We were 13th offensively and 15th defensively. So middle of the pack. That 8-8 eight eight for you. Baker wins uh, league MVP. Sean Watson, of course, wasn't with the Cowboys for this period. Uh, but... We finished 8-8, eight and eight, and there is Zeke at number 8. NFC Offense Player of the Year, well, I guess it was Ezekiel Elliott, but now that Deshaun Watts is in the NFC, I guess he won it. Yeah, mm, interesting. <laughs> Defense Player of the Year is Roquan Smith. B-Wags at number 6. Jalen Smith at number 9. Offensive Rookie of the Year is Dixon Sanders. Wow! We don't even have Rajon, whatever. Was he a rookie this year? That might have been last year. That makes sense. Warren Claridge. Yeah, we had a terrible rookie class. I remember. Clay Ridge. All right. So, who who won Offensive Player of the Year? Was it was it Zeke or was it Deshaun Watson? So, Zeke won it. He won Offensive Player of the Year. 
But did Deshaun Watson also? We can't see. Maybe. I don't even know what to say about all that. All right, NFL draft time. I don't even know what to do here. All right, second round pick. I don't know. To Kobe Hopkins, why not? Eh, he's all right. All right. We don't really need any position. Look at the defense. Look at the offense. Could we go for a fullback? Sure, we could. It's also the third round. We're going to trade the third round pick for a tackle, maybe. A better one. And on the right side. Trading back of left tackle council, a third and a third next year for Mike McGlinchey from the Niners. That's pretty much going to be the end of the draft for us. We have a fourth round pick. I guess I'll take the fullback there just to fill up our depth chart. But I don't know. I don't know, man. I, the team is sick. It really is. They just don't really care about winning games, which is a problem. Jamon Baker. Eh, pretty good fullback, I guess. All right, team looks pretty good. Is Deshaun Watson the answer? Do you just need an overpowered QB? Because we have a 99 overall defense now. A 95 overall offense. I mean, if this team can't do it, uh, yeah, a lot of regression all around. Bobby Wagner's down to a 92. Um, Geno Atkins is in the 70s. Bobby Wagner down to a 92. He just turned 31. Is he going to go down that much? I guess. Uh, happened. But if this team can't win, dog, I don't know. I have no idea what to tell you. All right, playoff time, which means not playoff time. I'd really like to get into the playoffs. Maybe we'll even do play the moments to make this team win because I can't go through four seasons of losing only to lose more when we finally get to where we need to go. All we can do is hope at this point. 11 and 5, all right. Cowboys finally have done something. The Reds can still win the division. At 13 and 2, they had the best record in the entire NFL. And as you can see at this point in simulation, uh, the records are just kind of all weird to me in our own division. They're, they just always seem to be, I don't know. Um, less weird than usual, I will say. As far as stats go, I think it's going to be contingent success, I mean, on having a good quarterback. Deshaun Watson, 4,000 yards, 37 touchdowns, six interceptions, rushing. Zeke was great again receiving Rajon Ashley is a beast nine touchdowns we had 11 from Chase Schaefer I mean Rajon Ashley had 1100 yards we finally did something our offensive line held together well enough defensively four players with 100 tackles or more tackles for loss 12 from three different players Geno Atkins Demarcus Lawrence and Von Miller QB sacks, 14 from Vaughn, 10 and a half for Demarcus Lawrence. Interceptions, four for Keanu Neal. I don't know why. Dude, Sim is so bad. Nobody really gets interceptions. Ton of force fumbles, though. Fumble recoveries, we had a decent bit. And then defensive touchdowns, we had one from Haha -Ha Clinton Dix. Yearly awards. Leonard Fournette wins MVP. Deshaun Watson at number three. Zeke at number 10. NFC Offense Player of the Year goes to Deshaun Watson. Zeke at number six. Defensive player of the year goes to Roquan Smith. No Cowboys. Offensive rookie of the year, Joe Tavius Henry. Okay. Aldrin Milner, the rookie. What, whatever position he plays, number eight. And then defensive rookie of the year. Of course, no one in the conversation. So the team is obviously really good. 97 offense, 99 defense. And uh, I'm going to play the moments. It's going to take 20 minutes. All right, can't wait. Yeah, we're in 94 overall to their 87. I mean, I I can only guarantee that we would have lost. We just, I, I just, I hate to complain, but it's a little ridiculous when you take arguably the best team in the league overall wise, 99 offense, 97 or defense or something like that, flip-flop, and we still can't even win games. I mean, we finally go positive for the first time all series here in year four. Rajon Ashley's got a tough matchup today against Desmond Trufant. He's a decent player, and that's going to be covered for the most part. We're going to roll out, find the wide open receiver, and Schaefer decided to not play wide receiver anymore and run out of the back of the end zone. In case anybody cares, the difficulty is on All Madden. All Madden really does like to screw you over, so that was an easy touchdown to tie it up. 
And uh, now I will probably turn over the football. Nope. Wide open Rajon Ashley. We got the touchdown. And uh, yeah, tie game. All right, third down. Take control and keep the drive alive. Do we pass some more? I mean, we got a decent enough quarterback. We got Rajon Ashley. Do we streak him over the top? See if he can burn Desmond Trufant. That's a tough matchup. Maybe we'll just hope for cover two. And I think Ashley burned him. Deshaun Watson and zone Ashley diving touchdown. Let's go, baby. Rajon Ashley is combing his helmet. I don't think that's how you get to your hair. All right. Oh, Zeke with the spin move. Oh my goodness. Ezekiel Elliott. Well, this is all mad difficulty. I can't... You guys watch Giants franchise. I don't know, man. I don't play anything like this. <laughs> the play of the moments is easy. What a spin move from Zeke. 77 yards to the house. And we might actually be able to win a football game. Nah, they're coming back. We're going to roll out. Looking for something here. We're going to run with Deshaun Watson. Touchdown. We just keep finding a way to get in the end zone and, and extend this lead. Can we just at least hold on? Almost double coverage on Julio Jones. And find a way to shut it down. That's got to be an interception. Bradley Roby with the pick. That's not my best spin move. But it should be enough to ice the game. Make the interception. Shinobi Awuzie. However he says it. I've never really known. Watched him at Colorado. But I don't know. You, you don't really say the name of a cornerback too much. Is... Is Atlanta really making this comeback? It's like the reverse Super Bowl against the Patriots. What are they doing here? Just, just, can we please win? Matt Ryan throwing it up. And that is intercepted by Keanu Neal. And um, I should have just went down in the end zone. But we win the game. That was a little bit of a nail biter. CPU could not hold on in simulation per usual. But uh, we got the win. All right, we got the Packers next in the divisional. Team was upgraded, and it looks... I mean, it's its a 99 offense, 99 defense. What do you want me to say? It looks its looks amazing, obviously. And uh, time to play the moments against the Packers at Lambeau. Packers probably not going to mess around. Notice how we both had the same record just about, and we are 95 overall to their 84. Just think about that for just a second. There's Rajon Ashley. Deshaun Watson actually hits him. Would be nice to have Eli doing that. There's the spin move. Oh, it's a beautiful thing when it actually works. Rajon Ashley in the playoffs. 98 yards to the house. This kid might be the real deal. We probably should score here. And the best way to do that, of course, is anyone shocked? It's Rajon Ashley. This guy's a monster. He's the only way we score. I'm all right with that. We're going to run again with Deshaun Watson. This time it is way open. Flashback to Colin Kaepernick against the Packers in the playoffs. Deshaun Watson going off with his legs. Rolling out. We got a touchdown, but I'm just going to take it with Deshaun Watson. Celebrating. He takes a nice bow at Lambeau. That's open. Good throw from Deshaun Watson under pressure. It's Ray Sean Ashley. Nope, it's Ray John Ashley. It's Rajon Ashley. I'm not really sure what his name is at this point. All I know is that he's a beast. More Deshaun Watson action. Touchdown. This game's over. And that's going to be the game, actually. 38 to 13 is your final as we win in the divisional. Ray John Ashley. He's pretty good. He's a pretty good player. All right, time for the conference championship here. Who are we going to meet? Ooh, division rival. The Washington Redskins, apparently at Redskins Field. I guess FedEx didn't sign off to be in the game. Whatever, they're an 89 overall. Even though they had a way better record than us. Well, two wins, I guess, isn't way better. Uh, and Or way worse in overall. I think that's fair to say. We This could be a tough game. There's our guy, Darius Geis. Go look up that Fortnite video on the channel. It's a fun one where we uh, we play together. Our fourth and inches. We're going short to Rajon Ashley here. 
Good one cut up the field. We'll move into the hurry up. And um, I don't know, what are we gonna call here? Let's bring a running back out on the field. Let's go inside attack. And Rajon Ashley is currently not covered by anyone. Can we snap the ball, please? You just take your time. Take your time. We definitely had circle, but I'm just gonna go to Milner. Got the touchdown either way. And it's a tie ball game. Deshaun Watson, touchdown. That's the way I gotta score. Just gotta, <laughs> just gotta run the ball with Deshaun Watson. Pretty easy. We're gonna step up. Deshaun Watson powers into the end zone, touchdown. That's that's the way I gotta score. He's just he's just a beast. Nobody gets open. Run the ball with Deshaun Watson. That's gonna be a lob ball. Clinton Dix. It's gonna be intercepted. Stay on your feet, please. All right. We can kill the game here, and that's the football game. NFC Conference champions. And now we are one win away from Super Bowl glory for Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans. No, 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 that's not that's not what team we are. The Dallas Cowboys. All right, all right. So the Chargers are who we face at Super Bowl Dallas. Yet we are the away team. Love it. So we are down ten to seven here in the Super Bowl. We're gonna skip. Ah, uh, we're gonna jump in on third down. Why not? That's a big sack on third and goal. Jalen Smith forces the field goal attempt, and uh, they have the football back already. There it is. Deshaun Watson going to find Allen Hearns, who finally gets in the end zone. And it's going to be a pretty big touchdown. Taking the lead in the Super Bowl at home in Arlington, Texas. Ezekiel Elliott touchdown. And this game... Could start getting out of hand in a hurry for the Los Angeles Chargers if they don't do something to stop us. We have the ball back again. First and 10 from the 20, from the 17, inside the 20, I should say. Five minutes and 30 seconds to play. We're going to streak Rajon Ashley here. Ezekiel Elliott motions to the outside. Ashley just might get a super good burst here. And I can't throw that. We are going to step up with Deshaun Watson, though. Oh, I tried to slide! He didn't slide. I didn't have my finger on right trigger or anything. He just didn't do it. Oh, all Madden cheese. Ezekiel Elliott, one cut, bounce to the outside. Now out at the four. I didn't really want to go out of bounds there. And Ezekiel Elliott, touchdown. We are giving them some time, but... We're up by two scores. We should be able to win this football game. And they're going we're gonna skip the onside kick. I mean there we go. Let's just uh let's run the clock out. All it takes is a first down. Alright, final drive is gonna determine the Super Bowl winner. They are down by eight. They're gonna need a touchdown and a two-point conversion to even tie this thing up. They're gonna have 50 seconds. Again, no timeouts. And we're just going to keep everything in front of us. And I'm still going to play over the top. I'm still going to back off. I don't care if they get the first down. I just... I know we can end it here. But... The game is over. The game's over. We're going to be Super Bowl champions. And that is the football game. Season 4, we managed to win the Super Bowl. Did I have to play every game? Mm, kind of. It is on all Madden. We did only play the moments. The team was amazing. The confetti comes down as the Dallas Cowboys might in fact be the first home team to ever win a Super Bowl at home. Go ahead and look that one up. I don't. I can't name the team that ever has. I don't think they ever have. I think the Vikings would have been the first this year had they actually made it. And they didn't. But let's go ahead and join the podium. Are we, do we have to see highlights? Are you serious? No, I would get up to the podium. I want to see, raise the Lombardi. It's not going to happen. We're going to skip it. All right. But that is the game. And that is going to be the video. I really would appreciate you guys subscribing if you're new. Definitely like the video. 2,000 likes would be awesome. 
Make sure to tell me if you want to see more gameplay in the future in these uh, these rebuild style videos. I think it was a pretty good idea from Healy. And uh, I don't want to play every full game, obviously. But the moments could be a good idea. That's going to do it for me. That's going to do it for the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.